Car thefts are at their highest level in the U.S. since 2008, and Illinois tops the list. Now one man from the south suburbs says he knows what's pushing the numbers higher. He caught thieves on surveillance camera pushing his car from his house. He told CBS2 Sarah Maki he's sick of this trend, and she found one car security expert looking for some solutions. Sadly enough to say, I kind of already expected this to happen. I just didn't think my day was going to come that day, but it did, and that's just what happened. That's Jawan Bishop's reaction after watching these videos of thieves steal his Dodge Charger this week. After they break a rear window, they're able to essentially put this Dodge in neutral. You can see one person running behind the car to push it into the street. Others join, and then he says they use another stolen car to push his down the road, where they try to... <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> What kind of Jerry Rig bullshit operation is this? They got his car though. It's the brazenness for me. Whatever man. means necessary. Like the like this is this is I'm not afraid. This is why when I when I hear some people, especially gliders, believe that some people are afraid. Well, he was afraid. They're afraid of the police. Does this just does this look like? people that are afraid of interacting with police. People that where well, police and interaction with a police officer is a death sentence, or if not a death sentence, a highly likely to end in either you getting your ass kicked or you die. Would anybody behave like this if that was the case? See, but if you said that, if you like, I mean, the point you made is accurate, but if you've said that to one of these sheep gliders or any of these other sheep people their mind would refuse to acknowledge the fact that you everything you said made sense because it's against the narrative they would deny it not because you're wrong but because they're scared of the repercussions they would face from the group because mm. this is this is like beyond bold like at any point a neighbor Somebody could peek out the window, call the cop, boom, both sides of the streets are blocked off, fucking helicopters running through. I mean, this could easily end in contact with police because it's not like you just got in, whoop, and you're gone. This takes time. already expected this to happen. I just didn't think my day was going to come that day, but it did, and that's just what happened. That's Jawan Bishop's reaction after watching these videos of thieves steal his Dodge Charger this week. After they break a rear window, they're able to essentially put this Dodge in neutral. You can see one person running behind the car to push it into the street. Others join, and then he says they use another stolen car to push his down the road, where they tried to program it with a new key. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. He says he's heard of this trend, but never expected to catch it on video. But the key is to slow them down while your other security measures are in place. Steve Labello says he's seen this method before with dodges amongst the most often targeted. I get a lot of calls and people are like, what do you mean they can push my car away? It's that fast. He showed us how easy it is to program a new key and he did it in about 90 seconds. When you're done, success. Step on the brake, bye bye. He tells clients to use multiple security methods, searching for new devices that aren't common on the market yet. And he says after hundreds of installs, we haven't had one person get past the pinnacle yet. And he has the videos to prove it. Customers sent him these videos. He's trying to steal a car unsuccessfully. That's the walk of shame. Bishop got his car back a few blocks from his home since he has GPS tracking and other security measures. At the end of the day, I'm just really grateful that I managed to get my car back because unfortunately or not, a lot of other people are fortunate to get their car back. But he says this experience is enough to drive him to try something new, looking for something less likely to attract thieves. In River Grove, Saramaki, CBS2 